Hey, 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 this is Scott. So what I'd like to do today is I'd like to record the first of two videos that I'm doing on my channel. This is a trial balloon. We'll see if it works or not. I would like your feedback. I, I've made a new friend, Ahmed, and he's been asking questions about making a transition into business analytics. So what I thought I would do is make a couple of videos, like I said, on the subject and see if there's interest. And um, if there is, I can create a, a playlist on, on YouTube. So please let me know what your thoughts are there, whether I should continue or, or not. Again, um, you can either do it here on YouTube or you can do it on LinkedIn. So the first thing is, you know, when I look at the, the basics of being a good business analytics specialist. Um, these are 11 dimensions that I've kind of come up with uh, off the cuff and uh, from experience, right? So I've been doing this for a long time. And uh, so hopefully I have something to offer. But, you know, the first thing is really the eagerness to learn because you're going to have to learn a lot. You're going to have to move around a lot into different subjects. Some of it's going to be technical. Some of it's going to be on the business side. Some of it's going to be on the communication and people side, um, social skills, et cetera. So hopefully you're you're eager to learn and you're willing to adapt uh, to those different scenarios. The second thing is, and I'm just going to go around the wheel, right? So I started at 12 and I'm just going to go through at um, you know one o'clock now. The second thing is the ability to listen. So um, if you can't listen, really, you're going to miss a lot of opportunities to learn, right? So that's one of the key things, especially for a business analyst or a business analytics specialist, is to be able to, to go in and talk to people and hear what their concerns are, hear what they want to do, where they want to go. And then you need to, you know, uh, vet that out with your knowledge of analytics and then move it forward. So that's kind of the second second piece of it. The third piece is speaking and presentation skills, because you can be absolutely brilliant, um, but if you can't show people um, what what is important and, and what the results are, um, you, you're just in a corner and, and no one hears you, right? I mean, again, you can be brilliant, but it doesn't matter if you can't present um, the results the or just have a, a good uh presentation level on on what you want to present to someone um and then you have to be interested in the business right and, and you need to be honest because there's certain people that just want to be with the computer one-on-one -on -one and they don't want to necessarily be with people and i get that and there's been times in my career that i've been that way too i just wanted to be isolated there uh, so there's no shame in that. Um, so, you know, the old tenant, uh, know thyself and, and just, you know, be honest, be honest with yourself because if you lie to yourself, you're not going to do yourself any good whatsoever in, in anything that you do. Um, writing skills, again, you can really be brilliant, but if you can't show people on a written format, what you want to convey, what you want to communicate, it doesn't matter. Again, your brilliance won't won't shine through if you can't communicate it in in those two formats, both verbally present it with a presentation, and then on paper. Um, then the next one is work well with others, right? So I've seen people get fairly far by being prima donnas, right? They're just really good at something and their manager um, lets them get a pass through, you know, certain things because they're just really good at something, right? But that's, it's really more of a technical skill and, and being a business analytics specialist, you're really not gonna get very far um, being a prima donna because you have to get along with people. You have to get along with people in the business. They have to trust you, 
Trust, trust, trust is a big, big thing. So that's that. Data skills. So that really kind of speaks for itself. You probably are aware of that. Um, and most people focus on the technical, and I would not. I would focus on the people skills and the communication skills because that's what separates you being a good uh, a business analytics professional um, versus the, the deep technical. Um, some of the things that you should know, right? And I'll do this in the next video. I'll talk about some of the things that I think are important topics. But, you know, there's tools, you know, obviously there's, you know, Excel, right? So people say, well, you know, I don't use it, but a lot of businesses use it. So you need to know it. SQL. You need to know what data warehouses are, what, what data lakes are, what data lake houses are. Cloud versus uh, on-premise data, cloud architectures, just some basics there. And um, and then there's some mathematics that you need to, to learn as well. Um, and so that's really kind of the next one. And I'm going to, again, dive much deeper into the next video. But, you know, statistics, optimization, some calculus and linear, linear algebra, not that you need to know a lot of the mechanics if you do that's great you know but at least you need to know what calculus is about calculus two major divisions rates of change differentiation integration um, volumes etc um, and what that math is about and, and and it really is the formulation so when you're and it's more about anything else that you're having a conversation with someone and if they talk about an optimum solution, you need to know, okay, well, I'm using a machine learning technique and I came up with this optimum. How kind of did it happen, right? How does it know what the optimum is? What is a global optimum? What's a, uh, a local optimum, uh, et cetera. So you, you kind of need to be able to speak the language. Visualization skills, huge, uh, especially these days. So. Taking an analysis and then translating it into a dashboard, a visual dashboard, like, you know, Tableau, Power BI, Click, et cetera, et cetera. So that is very important. I do not, and I'm going to write a book about this. I do not like starting with a dashboard and then are ending there, right? Because pictures can paint false narratives. What you need to do is you need to do the analysis and then you need to support the analysis with a dashboard, not the other way around. Um, and then storytelling. And that really goes hand in hand with dashboards as well. So, um, you know, you need to do the analysis, but to communicate with someone, to really communicate, you need to be a storyteller and you, you tell that story a lot of times, either one-on-one, -on -one, or you can tell it with a, a visual dashboard, which is great, but don't make up the story. Let the analysis speak for itself. There's too many people that come into data analysis or analytics, uh, they, they want to support a position. Don't do that. Let the data support its own position and then tell the story or the visualization on top of that. Please, please, please. Um, so what's next? Um, here are the superpowers, right? So if you go through, if you establish honesty and, and trust, um, you know, energy, and you're enthusiastic about what you're doing, you get a, a good business acumen behind you, communicate, excuse me, communication skills, the people skills, the math, the data skills, the analysis skills. Build that 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 set. Um, you'll really do you really do well as a, a business analytics professional. And so the next video, I'll I'll be more technical. I'll be more tactical. Um, you know, strategy um, is kind of what we're doing now. Tactics is what we'll do next time. Uh, the technical part, and so yeah. That's what I wanted to, to talk with you today about. And so I hope that was worthwhile. Again, please give me a thumbs up.
If you like it either here on the video or on LinkedIn, let me know. Thanks.